Page 132. There's two things on this that I've been debating. Do I split it up in two lessons or just one? But I think I'm just going to combine everything on this page in, in this lesson. So starting with number one at the top. They talk about a melodic sequence. A sequence is a pattern of notes that repeats itself going up or down the keyboard. It could be two notes, or three notes, or a bunch of notes, or whatever. Here, if you look in the right hand, here, and then the next one come down, they want you to play the same pattern, but I guess we're going to go down the keyboard. Because we could keep going, or, or, or if you want to go up, you do that. You just instead of here, you come up, and then you come up. So that's a sequence. That's what they're wanting you to do here. With the chords, they're giving you the one chord. Now we're in the key of C major. You, you got to know the key when they give you numbers, because the number relates to the key. A one chord in C is not a one chord in G. Uh, one chord, and then the four chord. One, two, three, four. And then you have a seven with a little circle. That's a diminished chord. Remember, a diminished chord is simply two, two minor thirds stacked. So first find the seven chord in C major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you just want two diminished or two minor thirds. Minor third, minor third, together. That is a seven diminished. That happens to be what you get in a major scale. The seventh step is a diminished chord. So it's seven diminished. And in case you're wondering, because you're using Roman numerals, they have capital, capital letters and lowercase letters. The lowercase letters are anything but major. The uppercase letters are major and, or augmented, whichever. Is. So minor is, and diminished, they're both, really, they're both minor. And then three is here, and it is a minor chord, that's why it's in lowercase. And then the sixth chord is here, and that's a minor chord, because that's the major chord. And then a five chord, and then a one chord. So we're just playing the chord of the step it's in. So one, four, seven. If you just stick with the notes in the scale, that's what we're getting. And then three, six, two, five, one. That's what they're doing. So here, on the four, now they want the seven, Try just doing the bottom note of each chord, chord like we were doing before. And seven. You see what we did then the left hand? The here, here, four. That's the sequence going down too. They said they were chords. So it was just here. the sequence. Isn't that neat how that works? Mm -hmm. Then they want you to transpose it to G major. G major, well, we're, we're here in G major as one sharp, so all the Fs have to be F sharped. So you play, we're starting in C major, we were starting here with second finger on C rather than here, we're down one. So in G major, we've got to do the same. I want, I want second finger on G, not thumb. So it's Just playing the notes in G major, but I'm using the same fingers, the same pattern. And so the chord's gonna do the same thing. So in G major, we have one chord, and then the four chord is there, and then the seventh chord, one seventh step of the scale, is here, and then a three chord is here. So I went from here to here. Okay, and then a four chord is here. 
two chords, five chords, one chord. Those are the chords. You just take it slow and easy. Here. And here four chords here. And now I want a seven chord. And a three chord. I don't care how you finger it, just and then a six chord. Chord one, two, three, four, five, six. That could come down here, I guess. And then two chord. And the five chord. Here, one chord. That's really tricky when you go to transposing like that. And again, you can play around with other patterns and rhythms in the left hand too, so you're not just playing block chords, if you can get that far. Now on the bottom part of the page, on number two, they want you to make up a melody. They're giving you the chords, the harmony, and you get to make up a melody. We're in six eight time and we're in the key of G major. All the ups are sharp. But it's best if possible if you play the chords at least. Well, it, it's a give and take. If it sounds okay, it is. But generally you want to stick with notes that kind of go along with the chord. So in a one chord here, I'm going to stick mostly with these notes. I can use the other notes. Just, just uh, the, the main notes I want to use are in this chord. And it's six eight time they're giving you a rhythm if you want you make it up and then a four chord is here and a, here you can do that and then a, a seven chord and G major is here use those notes you're using a melody make up a melody that goes with this harmony a one a four is here and then a seven is here because go down one. A seven is the seven steps. Lesson one. That's a, and then three chord is here. Remember that one, two, three. And then the six chord one, two, three, four, five, six. I come down here. And then the two chord, five chord. One. So those those are the the chords and the harmony you want. You need a melody that goes along with them. The melody is primarily using notes in the chord. You can use other notes as passing notes or whatever, but you want to. It's got to fit. I don't want the one chord doing this. No, the four chord might do that here. I mean, I could do. That. So I would need these notes in the chord if those are the notes I want to use. And that's not it. I need an A, a C. Okay. The idea is you know, the melody notes you use need to go along with the harmony in the chord. And that you make it up. I don't know that there's a right or wrong here. In my opinion, if it sounds good, go for it. Now they are giving you a few notes in the right hand. They're telling you each line is a phrase and they want you to start the phrase on that one note and end the phrase on the other and do what you want in the middle. That's fine. Those notes they give you are in the chord, whatever it is, so it fits okay. But otherwise it's up to you what you do in the middle.